Hey, what's up everybody and welcome to Bricks and Toys. Today, we are back on the mock. I am very excited and not excited about this at the same time. Let's start off with why I'm not excited about this. Well, everybody, today was going to be the day that I'm going to release the 1,000 subscriber build. Thank you guys all for subscribing. But due to some spoofing and scam and other issues, the subscriber build will be the next video that you guys will watch after this video on April the 16th. So, sorry guys, I see you. Thank you so much for subscribing. I cannot wait to show you all of the effort and all of what it took to get to that subscriber just in the last month or so. It, it's, it's so much chaos that went on with getting spoofed on the internet and getting scammed on the builds and you, you guys are gonna wanna watch it. And the second reason that this is not so exciting for me is I've found out since I've first shown you this project that the BrickFest Live, the, the show I intended on taking this to, it does not seem like they're coming to Vegas. I have gone through the events of my local lug group and there is nothing about it. I have gone on to BrickFest and there is nothing about it. So the chances of me taking this to a trade show is slim to none for right now. Now that doesn't mean I'm not gonna do it in the future or take it somewhere else, I just might. As of right now, with the level of monetization and everything with my channel, I'm in no place to travel out of state to take it anywhere. It would have to be a local show with my group. My local lug group does go to Brick Slopes in Sandy, Utah. So with this mock being dead weight, the one thing I am excited for is we are going to try to build a roof for today's video. We are just going to try to get the roof put on this thing and throw it in a plastic bag, toss it under the Lego City studio outside, and get it out of the main studio, and we're just going to forget about it. Because if I do make it to Brick Slopes in Sandy, Utah, it will be for me to be an attendee for one day, see what it's all about. That way, next year, I can be more prepared to take it with me. This might be the last video for a very long time. I chose to do this over the Lego City, and now I kind of regret it because I was hoping that this would be something I could take to a trade show, and I financially just cannot do it this year. I would be looking at a one-week rental car, about a one-week in a hotel, and about, God knows, in food. A whole week in food, two, two meals and some snacks per day. It's just, yeah. So, you know, it all sucks, but... You know what's not going to suck, everybody? Getting the roof onto this. We have the pieces in here, and I'm going to bring you guys in, and we're going to just going to do a little bit of work here and there. So why don't you guys come on in, and let's start actually kind of building on this and seeing what our direction is going to be. I have not looked at this mock in a month. I have been so busy with March reviews that this got put into the back burner. But we're here now, so let's see what we have to do. Back in early March, I ordered another shipment of pieces to hopefully get the roof done. We have one by fours over here. We have what looks to be what eight by four plates. One, two, three, four, five. We have 10 by four plates. We have one by fours. We have a whole bunch of these little parts. I sorted everything out in advanced. So we have a whole bunch of parts to hopefully make a roof. We've got slopes to kind of make a indentation in the top of the of the garage. We got framing to hopefully put windows in the roof. If I remember right, that was the direction I was wanting to go. We just have so many parts, but what we need to start with actually right now is the actual formation of the roof. Now, I already had a base, as you guys saw in the last video, if you guys tuned in, for this set. So now I just got to bring that base back to life. Because, you know, this has had a rough month of being in the backlog and in the background and someone really not giving a rat's butt about it. And I apologize to the Lego set. No, I really didn't. I don't uh, talk to my Legos all that much. Oops, well, that did not work out. Oh, these pieces are so dirty. So much neglect. So this is going to go here. Should be another piece to go across the back. Oh, this one's in really rough shape. Yeah, that's gonna go down here. 
So yeah, we just gotta figure out how this base is gonna go. So it took a little bit of shuffling, but I figured out that I remember when I showed you guys this build last that I put the roof over here on this side with some of these slopes. So once I figured that out, and then I figured out the correct orientation of our base. So now we wanna take our base off and we actually wanna discard the lower half because that's not what we're focused on here today. What we're focused on is getting the roof built. Okay, so we're back to where we left off originally. And now what I want to do is just quite simply, let's take off the stuff that's just fluff, which is like that. This piece is the wrong piece. We're not gonna be using that. That can get out of here. And then we need to take off these little attachment bits that I have up here for those. Okay, so now what we're gonna focus on, we're actually gonna build up these walls. So I'm gonna focus on that off camera, and then once I have the walls built up, I'll bring you guys in and I'll show you what I came up with so far to make that happen. Okay, so 30 to 40 short minutes later, here we have what's beginning to be our roof. Now, if you guys notice that it looks a little funny, well, that's because I'm going to go with a flat style in the middle with the slopes that comes up the side. So it's gonna be kind of a flat top with a slope. I think that's kind of like gonna be an interesting way to like shape it up and change it up. I already have everything already boxed in on the bottom with the little red beams and stuff. As you guys know, there's gonna be red beams going up the center of this when it's all said and done. As long as they don't get in the way of the windows, of course. And um, there we have it. So what's up next is I'm actually going to start fabricating the sides. I got a lot of plate here and I like to do a uh, white underplate. So it kind of is like white on the inside, black on the outside. And if you guys see here, I'm doing that texture style that you guys see on the building. I'm doing it throughout the roof as well. So we won't have exposed studs. We'll actually have a nice smooth top. Now, I don't think I have enough smooth two by four tiles to do the whole thing, but you know what? We'll get as far as we can. So now I'm going to take a break on this and I'm going to start building up the sides. But we have a one by two with a cross in the middle or an axle hole. That way we can put like a nice little light hanging out. We have a little window that, that allows a little bit of feature. I might try to put a guardrail or something in there. But that's where we're at so far. Now let's build up the sides. Well, everybody, here's the unit with the roof on. And by no means is this complete. I actually recently learned of a new technique to make a stronger roof. And that was with the medieval town square. And I wanna to try to use that technique because it's basically using the two by two front stud blocks with the side studs and studs on studs. I think they're also used in making creator expert car seats and other little bits and pieces. But using those type of pieces can really lock in the roof and make it a lot stronger. Just to get the roof put together and on it to where you guys can see it with a roof was uh, Mission Impossible. So not the most sturdiest roof. I like to believe that if the big bad wolf came and uh, gave a huff and a puff, it would definitely would blow that roof down. It wouldn't blow the building down. That I built correctly. But I also took a lot more time in engineering the bottom half than I did the top half. This top half was just done in two days video using some ideas that I had from a month ago. And clearly, there's some things I need to work on with it. But for now, that's the end of the road of the garage. Unless a trade show pops up that I can make it to, then I'll come back to work on it. I do need to make the garage door better. I don't like the way that there's such a gap right here. And there's a lot of other little things I got to do, including the finishing work. But, you know, for now, you know, it's a good effort and I'm happy with it. So with that, guys, I just want to say if you guys want to support the channel, there's two ways to do it. One, you can hit the thanks button down below. Anything that you guys can donate helps support the Lego all around me. If that's not your thing, you guys can always hit the subscribe button and follow along with everything that we do here. And as always, you guys can share this video with your friends and comment your thoughts down below, or maybe comment some ideas of something that might work to make this thing better when I get back to it. Up next on the channel, we're gonna be doing the thousand subscriber build. You guys aren't gonna to wanna to miss it. Like I said earlier in this video, I got lots of crazy stories and things that's happened to get to that point, both on the build and on YouTube combined. It's very interesting stuff I like to think. And with that, thank you for watching. Y'all have a good one. 